How's it going guys? So I got a little bit of a uh, different type of video tonight. Um, I'm actually uh, staying in a cabin in the uh, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Um, it's a little bit cool out tonight, but I figured I would come out and have a cigar, sit on the uh, old rocking chair here on the, the uh, porch of the cabin, just hang out and have a cigar. So I'm going to do a quick little cigar review, I guess, uh, while I'm out here, I might as well. Uh, what I'm smoking here is a Arturo Fuente uh, Grand Reserva. If you can see that there we go focused on it really good stick this is a maduro stick it's a uh, 5 by 50 ring gauge uh, it's really really good um, i lit it probably about five minutes ago so you can see kind of where it's at uh, the burn right now is uh, pretty good it's not you know it's not razor sharp or anything uh, the focus is not the greatest but and see, it's not razor sharp, but it's pretty daggum good. Um, kind of the flavors that I'm getting right now uh, just off uh, the beginning here. Um, I'm getting a little bit of uh, peppery zing off of the thing. It's not much. Definitely a little bit of pepper there, but not, not too much. Uh, a lot of sweet uh, notes of uh, chocolate and coffee right now, uh, which is really nice. It's definitely a smoker big time um, if you're into cigars then you know that some cigars you know produce a huge amount of smoke um, and others don't and you can see this one just sitting here uh, you might be able to see that um, I did just draw off of it so it's probably gonna smoke a little bit more because of that but even just uh, sitting and resting uh, the thing is uh, smoking pretty good I'm burning pretty quick uh, my humidor I keep it around 70 percent humidity and it's a uh, a uh, cedar wood um, humidor um, but yeah uh, smoking pretty good right now um, I'll definitely give you an update once I'm a little bit further down the stick um, as of right now uh, the nicotine that I'm getting is not much at all I'm not feeling anything at all which is good I'm not really into the head spin kind of stuff I really just want to enjoy the flavors and the uh, experience um, I'm not sure where the tobacco of this cigar is um, uh, sourced. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, Nicaraguan or uh, if it's uh, you know Dominican Republic or anything like that. For some reason, I'm wanting to say it's Nicaragua. I'm not really sure on uh, Arturo Fuente stuff, but oh, um, as far as the cut on the back, um, if it'll focus there, um, I always use a punch cut. Um, I just think it's a little bit better, and also I'm always paranoid about uh, taking that cap off and ruining the cigar. Definitely don't want to do that. Um, this stick at my local uh, shop, I didn't buy it down here in Gatlinburg, um, because typically the uh, the shops down here are a little bit expensive. Um, although uh, they've got some unique stuff, so I'd definitely pick up something while I'm here. But I think this one was ooh, $6.99, $7, $7.99, something like that a stick. So it's a little bit of a higher end stick. It was wrapped in a cedar, um, cedar wood sleeve kind of deal. Um, but yeah, I will be back here in a little while with an update. All right, ladies and gents, back with an update. So now about halfway through this stick. Uh, flavor has changed. Definitely the, um, that peppery zing is gone. Uh, it's completely gone. It's been replaced with a uh, kind of a earthy taste, um, which is actually really pleasant. Um, enjoying this quite a lot. Um, the burn time on it right now... Um, we're probably about uh, 25 minutes in, um, so you're going to be looking at, just depending upon how, how small of a nub uh, that you're willing to have, um, you could be, you know, looking at probably a 45 minute stick, um, which is pretty good. Um, I don't really go for the, you know, hour and a half sticks, two hour sticks. I'm not, not into that. Um, pretty much after about 40 minutes or so, I'm, I'm, I've lost interest. Um, it seems like the draw maybe has gotten a little bit tighter, which I don't understand, because um, it was it was fine um, before. Um, but it seems like the draw is just a little tighter. It could be where the tobacco's warmed up or something. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, really, really good, though. I am enjoying it. Um, 
I guess while I'm here making this video, um, I'll tell you a little bit about what uh, we did uh, today here in the Great Smoky Mountains. So we did something pretty awesome, and I might uh, pipe some pictures in here of what we did. Um, the first thing we did, obviously, we go eat breakfast at one of the awesome places over in Gatlinburg. Uh, it's called uh, Davy Crockett's Breakfast uh, Breakfast Camp. I'm sorry there. Uh, very, very, very good. Um, uh, for the prices, you really can't beat it. Um, you get a huge amount of food, and it's, uh, it's just really great. did have to wait a long time, but that's Saturday morning here in Gatlinburg. That's just how it goes. But after that, what I really wanted to tell you about is we went to the ghost town of the Smoky Mountains. I'm not really sure uh, if you guys have heard of this or not. It's called Elkmont. Um, it is a small community uh, that was built on top of the mountain there. Um, kind of going towards uh, Townsend, if you guys know where that's at. Um, really cool little place. Had some of the old buildings still there. It was built uh, in the early 1900s for the affluent uh, families there in Knoxville. Give them a little uh, uh, mountain cottage you know that they could go spend time at uh, to get away from the heat of the city we explored that for a little while really cool uh, some of the buildings are still there others are, are demolished and there's nothing left but the chimneys and foundations and that kind of stuff um, a little bit spooky in all honesty um, but very very cool nonetheless um, after that um, see the reason why we went there first is a uh, newfound gap road the main park road um, that leads from Gatlinburg to uh, Cherokee, North Carolina, was actually closed um, due to snow and ice. Later in the day, however, they opened it up. They got it uh, cleared out there. And so we made our way up to uh, Newfound Gap. Uh, awesome road uh, down through there. Um, you can get a really good view of Mount Leconte, um, also the chimney tops. Um, as many of you know, that's where the uh, forest fire started there uh, in the uh, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It's been... Uh, almost four years now. I guess this fall will be four years. It happened in 2016. A lot of the damage is uh, still very evident from that fire. Um, especially on the chimney tops. There's almost no trees there left. Um, but we made our way up there to Newfound Gap, which is just over 5,000 feet in elevation. Um, which for you Rocky Mountain guys, probably not much. Uh, it's definitely not much. Um, but... It's pretty good for us down here in the south. Um, so we made our way up there and uh, got some awesome views. Um, it's actually on the uh, Tennessee-North Carolina border. Uh, very, very cool. It's got a little uh, uh, placard, a uh, little dedication uh, memorial thing to when they uh, dedicated the park. Um, actually, uh, the Rockefellers. The Rockefeller uh, Foundation is responsible for over five million dollars that went into the park which is pretty awesome um, especially uh, back in those days but yeah we did that and made our way down to the island and uh, in Pigeon Forge which is a really really cool little shopping center thing there they've got a giant um, uh, what do you call it Ferris wheel kind of thing it looks kind of like the uh, the one in London it's not quite as big uh, but it is very very tall uh, so we got the check that out a little bit um, walked around the shops I actually have a really good cigar shop there and I picked up a uh, CAO flavors moon trance uh, full-size cigar not a not a uh, cigarillo but an actual full-size cigar so I'm anxious to try that out the full-size ones are very very nice but yeah guys that's uh that was our day um, as far as supper goes we didn't really have lunch because that breakfast was huge um, but as far as supper goes, we uh, had Mexican food, believe it or not, here in the mountains. It was very, very good. It's a place called No Way Jose. Um, Mexican cantina or fresh Mexican, something like that. Uh, very good uh, atmosphere. Um, shout out to uh, Yankee in the South for uh, uh, showing us that on the awesome video. Um, very, very good food. Got the taquitos, which are like little rolled up ta uh, tacos, beef tacos that are deep fried. Uh, they were just... Just out of this world, amazing, good stuff. The queso was uh, the, probably the best queso I've had in any Mexican restaurant. So if you're down here, definitely, if you're like Mexican food, check that out. Also, the Loco Burro in Gatlinburg, also a really good place to eat Mexican food. I will tell you, though, um, hang on a second. 
talking too much. My cigar is going to go out. <laughs> um, so uh, there's a, a restaurant that's kind of famous uh, for this area. Uh, it's called Calhoun's. Um, used to be one of my favorite places to eat here in the Smokies. Um, had the best ribs, best barbecue you could possibly get. Yeah, the sides were good. The bread was good. The whole experience was awesome. Unfortunately, here lately, um, it has made a quick uh, turn for the worse. Uh, we ate there um, last night, which was a Friday night. So would you imagine Friday night? Um, it would, you know, they're going to be on their best. They definitely were not. The barbecue was not that good. The sauce wasn't made correctly. Um, my mom got a uh, a uh, baked potato. Wasn't good. Uh, my fiance ended up getting um, some chicken tenders that were okay, not the greatest. Um, the barbecue sandwiches just they just weren't there like they used to be. So I was really disappointed. Um, so. Oh, sorry about that. Like I was saying about Calhoun, it's probably going to be the last time I go there. I'm not really, uh, not really into paying for an expensive meal and it not being that good. So I am done with that as far as that goes. Oh, cigar is going to go out on me, guys. And keep it rolling there. But yeah, guys, um, definitely... Comes to the smoky. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Had to get the cigar lit again. But yeah, definitely come to the Smokies and check it out. Um, the park is just amazing. It's the most visited national park in the U.S., which is... Pretty impressive down here in uh, little old Tennessee in North Carolina. Um, it's not Yellowstone like a lot of people think. It's not Acadia in Maine. It's right here, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it uh, for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm hoping to uh, do another car video here pretty soon. Um, if I've not got anything going on as of right now, I'm, I'm, I may... Um, but if I've not got anything going on, um, on March 13th, 14th, something like that, uh, is uh, Riverside in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And I'm hoping to make my way down there with uh, a couple buddies and uh, check out that show. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it to Import Alliance in Atlanta this year, um, where I graduated college in December. Um, you know, new jobs and all that kind of stuff really couldn't um, make time to go down there. I hopefully can get down there next year, though. But yeah, guys, you leave you with the beautiful front porch of the cabin. The other cabin's off in the distance, and I will see you later.